Good morning. My name is Javita Lee and I'm the policy director for Advance North Carolina and the convener of the North Carolina Black and Brown Policy Network. And today I am standing here completely exhausted. Exhausted by the fact that time and again, our legislature is spending more time creating ways to further penalize our black and brown communities by creating unnecessary legislation to directly harm them and their well-being, rather than prioritizing legislation that could actually improve the current conditions of their lived experiences. I'm exhausted by the fact that, yet again, we're here and we're seeing a repeat of the same type of legislation which, with HB 237 that we've seen before with HB 40 and any other anti-protest legislation that's been presented here in this state. The bottom line is simple. They don't want to hear us. It is our First Amendment right to free speech and protest, but it seems to me that there are people within the four walls of this building behind me that believe that that fundamental right only belongs to a select few. But the thing about that is the very freedoms that folks that look like me are able to experience have been a direct result of protest. My ability to be considered more than three-fifths a person is rooted in the power of protest. My ability to enter a city bus and stand or be able to sit behind the driver rather than in the back is at a direct result of the power of protest. My ability to cast a ballot and not have to pay a poll tax or complete a literacy test is rooted in the power of protest. My ability to walk into a restaurant or a store and utilize the front entrance is rooted in the power of protest. My very being as a black woman in this current state, in this country at this time, is rooted in the power of protest. And it's a power that they are trying to eliminate. But we will not stand by silently Advanced Carolina, as well as the or other organizations represented behind me, will firmly and wholeheartedly stand against HB 237. And we will do all that we can to protect the folks of North Carolina against its impending impact. Thank you so much.